Hey everyone, welcome to Antique and Garden Showcase. Today we're going to take that urn that I bought at the antique shop and we are going to refinish it. And I bought a new tool to do that with um, at our local Harbor Freight. It had some issues, but it also did a pretty good job as well. And I'll explain more about that as we go along in the video. So I hope you enjoy restoring an urn. This is going to be part one. I didn't have time to get the primer done on this and get it painted, but uh, you will see the first part of getting this cleaned down and ready to go. Today I'm going to be trying the central pneumatic blast gun with a gravity feed and I'm going to be using a bicarbonate soda to go in there. I don't know if there's any information on here. Non-hazardous. Should be really easy to load in there and use. And it's going to be used on this. So we're going to try to clean the urn today with using a new blast gun. I've done this by hand most of the time with drills and wire brushes, but today I'm going to see if I can make the task a little bit easier. I'm going to do a voiceover chat about this um, as we go along today. The urn I originally thought had been painted black over white. It was just the opposite. Somebody had used a very gluey white paint and had put it over black. So the original color of this urn was black. So the blast gun was really nice for loosening up that paint. And as you can see in the video, the red portion of that blast gun is loaded with the bicarbonate soda. And then that is forced out through uh, compressed air. Now, one of the issues I had with this going along was um, our air compressor, after about a minute and a half, decided it wanted to kind of die out and uh, it needed time to build the pressure back up. So I had to stop and start and stop and start and that was a little bit annoying with this uh, particular thing as well. But, as you can see there, it's really loosening the white paint up now was it perfect no it um, left a lot on there in certain places and in the end what I ended up doing was um, it needed to be cleaned off anyway so I got our pressure washer out which I did not show in the video got our pressure washer out and went after it with that and that was really the saving grace to all of it because what the uh, soda gun had loosened up, the pressure washer was able to finish taking it off of there because it had just enough extra pressure to really do the job well. So I'm going to let you watch a little bit more of this and uh, we'll come back in on the next frame. process with the soda blaster did really good with loosening the paint. After that was over, I did have to take a pressure washer with the highest setting nozzle and spray it all off. And as you can see, that got it down to the bare metal in a lot of spots. This one really fooled me because I thought it was black painted over white. It was just the opposite. It was white painted over black, which made it really weird because it was this really globby, nasty white paint that uh, made a big mess. So it had to be kind of be loosened up and then uh, removed with the pressure washer, which made a huge difference in that. So next steps will be to prime this out and then we'll get it painted. The product I use to prime out bare metal, I use Rust-Oleum Professional Primer Fast Drying. I also use their paint. I use the gloss black on urns like that one right there. That's a gloss black in the professional. And I'll do the same on this new urn as well. 
I think the soda blaster will come in really handy on these urns. I bought these at an estate auction and they have layer upon layer of chippy paint. And I mean, you can just see it chipping off there. And there's a big piece right there that's just ready to fall off. So I'm gonna really take these out and use that soda blaster on them first, because I think it will be much more effective on this than it was on the piece that I used it on. This one I bought at an auction, a different auction, and it was originally white and it's starting to chip back. So I'm gonna have to uh, clean that up a little bit and then uh, probably do a little bit of the soda blaster on this one. Same with this one. This was from the estate auction as the first one. So I really think soda blasting these will work better because you can get in between crevices and stuff much better with it than you can other things. But I did have to use the, um, oh, the pressure washer um, afterwards. Seemed to really do the trick to finish things out. But that's a little bit more on planters and cleaning up before painting. Thank you for watching Antique and Garden Showcase. I hope you've learned a little bit about cleaning down an aluminum garden urn. Um, there are different ways, different techniques, but this is one that I'm just trying out new this time around, and it did seem to work fairly well. So. Um, be watching for part two. Part two will be putting on the primer coat and we'll be returning that urn to its original uh, black color that it was. Um, that urn was really tricky. I thought that it was black over white and it ended up being white over black. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe uh, to see further content. Have a great week. Bye.